I've got some questions. And the first one is from Miranda at Keller Williams of Hollywood Hills. And she asks, you help offices move. What are some things teams should consider when doing that? And does a move typically affect business and how might it? You know, one of the things that I always encourage our clients to do is before they move, they need to go through their office and and downsize and get rid of the stuff that they're no longer using. A lot of the work we do here at the office with the collective is, you know, a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring and a lot of sessions like that, um, but also masterminding, you know, with groups of agents coming together and asking questions to their own peers who are in the field. Our people, the agents that we attract, are the ones that uh, want a culture of unity and connectedness and having fun and learning and growing. But at the end of the day, it's about what's right, not who's right, and really serving the client. I, I had a, a plan in mind to help build agents, and I wanted to make sure that the agents in our city grew and understand that we need to work together, mm -hmm. you know, in order to build our community. What are some ways that you nurture this culture that you're looking for? Um, well, you know, honestly, it's it's like any other relationship uh, that we're nurturing, right? It's always about uh, connection uh, and ensuring that everybody feels a part of that group uh, that feels well supported. So, uh, you know, we focus a lot around education, around business planning and and accountability. Communication, number one thing is uh, people call, people leave voice messages, people email. Respond to them right away. Don't wait. And I know we all get busy, but you know, there's 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. You can still reply to them at 10 o'clock, not a phone call, but an email or a text and say, I will get back to you. Because I will tell you right now, if you don't, you'll lose them. Mm -hmm. um, they will move on. Someone will pick up that phone. Yeah. And that is probably the biggest piece of the puzzle that you got to understand. Get back to those people. So you can scale your business on the revenue side and on the team side, but you've got to have a team that owns the vision that we talked about on the S. They have to own it as if it's theirs. They have to get excited about it. They need to be all in and you need to have a strong company culture.